Hi, uh, what we have today is a solenoid motor. Um, instead of using a mechanical switch, I've used a solid state switch. Uh, if you look out on the internet, you'll see majority of them are using a mechanical switch, which definitely simplifies the whole design, but uh, solid state is just a little more reliable than a mechanical switch. Uh, for the trigger mechanism, I'm using an LED on this side, and when the head, when these two black lines line up, the LED shines through to the other side to a cadmium sulfide cell, uh, just a CDS de uh, light detector, which in turn is connected to an LM311 comparator. Uh, so once the light passes through, the uh, LM comparator, LM311 comparator triggers a TIP120 Darlington pair transistor which in turn drives the, uh, the solenoid. So basically, let me just move this here. I put a line on the uh, head here. This shows that this is the power stroke. As the light passes through, again, the uh, comparator is triggered, drives a transistor, and the solenoid fires. And if you look here, you'll notice that the uh, solenoid is positioned furthest away. So, um, as the solenoid is triggered, it pulls in, and that's con that there is the power stroke, and then the momentum of the head, so the solenoid shuts off at about this point, the momentum of the head keeps it going, spins around, when the two lines line up again, the power stroke, and then it continues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some power. So I'm just using 12 volts, 2 amps. Uh, mostly for the solenoid it needs all the current so as you can see there's the LED and as I slowly turn the head you can hear the clunk the solenoid click there's the power stroke see there's the release solenoid you know there's the power stroke see on off on off on off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the head and there we go their uh, solenoid motor. Pretty straightforward, very very easy to build. Um, VCRs are um, very easy to come by. People are throwing them out. So if you're not a machinist, just grab one of these heads. Well balanced. Uh, existing bushings. All you need is a drill and a tap. A couple pieces of plexiglass wood. You know, the parts here were less than ten dollars easily. So um, you can build um, pretty handy little solenoid motor. Has no use but definitely a conversation piece.